in the wild, there is no health care. In the wild, health care is, ow, I hurt my leg. I can't run. A lion eats me, and I'm dead. Well, I'm not dead. I'm the lion. You're dead. Hey friends, I am not in Florida today. Today I am in Scranton, Pennsylvania, the home place of my birthplace, the fictional location of my favorite TV show, The Office. Yes, it ranks up there for me, The Office. I love Disney, I love Italian food, I love superhero movies, I love The Office. But I'm here today because I wanted to show you a little bit of all the cool references of the show, The Office, in Scranton as you know if you're a big fan of The Office you know Scranton has a lot to do with it but it was actually never filmed here it was filmed in Los Angeles and they basically just took a whole bunch of different you know things from Scranton restaurants monuments a lot of good stuff so uh, let's go do this that's what she said and to start things off I'm gonna take you to the intro, uh, the intro for the actual show and the intro that I made for this video because John Krasinski, the actor who played Jim, actually made that intro on his cell phone when he was sent here to Scranton to basically research the Scranton area for the show. But there's one scene, which is the Scranton welcomes you sign in the beginning, very popular. They had to take it down and replace it because it got so overwhelmingly popular. people were stopping and backing up traffic to get photos with that sign. And they moved it to the Steamtown Mall. And there it is. The Scranton welcomes you. Embrace our people, our traditions, and our future right here in the Steamtown Mall. Two awesome facts about the Steamtown Mall. Number one, if you're a fan of Dan Bell and his abandoned mall series, he actually came to this mall because this mall is really in a recession. A lot of the stores are closed and it's up and coming, but he went here, I think a couple years ago and it was down, like 50% of the stores were gone. And uh, you should check out his video because he's awesome. Another cool fact, they have Dunder Mifflin merchandise. Not only Dunder Mifflin, but the office in general. A whole entire store dedicated to the office memorabilia. We're gonna check that out. Get your Dunder Mifflin merch here. Yeah, boy. Look at this. These are amazing. Kevin's famous chili. Everybody is going to get to know each other in the pot. I'm serious about this stuff. <laughs> Boss. Dwight. Oh, Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Wow. That's what she said. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I'm a little overwhelmed. Oh my word. They have Scott's Tots mugs. You guys remember that episode where Scott promised to pay all the tuition for the classes college? <laughs> oh man. What's Scott's Tots? <laughs> Has it really been 10 years? <laughs> Local businessman pledges college tuition to third graders. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know what I would get. Probably the Scott's Tots coffee mug because that's amazing. It's only $6.99, but also the Shrudicorn. <laughs> the Shrudicorn coffee mug seems pretty good, but this stuff isn't really cool. Shrudicorn, look at that. Oh, there's, oh. Lots of amazing merchandise in there. Fill your bags. There are a couple different stops I want to take you to that is heavily referenced inside the show. Uh, restaurants like Port Richards, Cooper's, Alfredo's, uh, other restaurants that are referenced inside the show like Chili's and Benihana actually aren't in Scranton. But there are a lot, a lot of cool stuff and this city embraced the office. They really did. They took ownership and it's like a, a thing. 
so much of a thing they even have a Mifflin Avenue like Dunder Mifflin another fun fact about Scranton and uh, the Electric City why they call Scranton the Electric City is because the first electric trolley was actually built and discovered right here. So, uh, electric trolley, electric city. But another awesome fact, why they chose Scranton for the show, The Office, is a little speculation because some people say that the creator chose Scranton because of its close connection to New York and Philadelphia, but other people say because it is ranked in one of the most depressing cities in America, actually. Um, and that was before the show was made and since then it's not ranked that anymore Also, by the way, this is my sister Bon Bon She was telling me her favorite uh, Episode well from the office was the CPR episode uh, I gotta say my favorite episode or actually opening scene was the planking one. Oh, For God's sake Planking is a very stupid and dangerous trend. Basically, you lie like a plank in weird places. That's it. Sometimes you get run over. Welcome to the internet. Planking is one of those things where, hey, you either get it or you don't. <laughs> and I don't, but I am so excited to be a part of it. That's not creepy. Let's move on from the Steam Town Mall. Check out some of the local eateries that were featured in the show. Poor Richards, uh, Alfredo's, Cooper's, and uh, I have to say, the way they depicted them in the show is not cool enough because they are way cooler in person. While we make our trip over to Cooper's, I wanted to show you the first opening scene of the office intro is that pen paper sign or building right up there. How cool is that? John Krasinski basically filmed it right there. In many of episodes, you can hear Kevin suggesting let's go to Cooper's. And actually in one episode, uh, Michael takes Holly to Cooper's. I think that episode was business ethics. Uh, and uh, they have dinner there. But they actually have never been to the actual Coopers. And I kind of wish they did because this place is pretty awesome. Look at it. Pirates, Krakens. It's awesome. It's basically designed after a ship. Big seafood restaurant. And, uh, oh, he's talking. Peg Lake's talking. What is he saying? They are totally playing Pirates of the Caribbean song. Do you hear that? I had to make my way up top to look at the Kraken and also check out some more pirates. This is such an awesome building. I'm gonna go inside for a little bit because maybe they have some office memorabilia in there too. Look at all of this. <laughs> they even have the Dwight bobblehead. Wow. <laughs> oh, Dwight Schrute, assistant to the original manager. Wow. This is like the mecca of office memorabilia here. Look at all these cool pictures. This man is a pervert. I've seen contact Dwight Schrute. A Schrute buck. What? Oh, look at some artwork by Pam. Oh, man. Look at this family photo of Moe's and Dwight. This is some amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff. Wow. Threat level midnight. you got to be kidding me. They have Dundee Awards. <laughs> Dundee Award, best boyfriend. Dundee Award, Doobie Doobie Pothead, Stoner of the Year. <laughs> wow, I love it. And they even have certificates too. Dundee Award, best boss. I wonder who wins that. 
they also have identification lanyards like Jim Helbert Dunder Mifflin sales and then they have like Pam Beasley Pam Helbert you see what they did there receptionist and sales and then uh, other cool ones but one that really pants well what stands out is uh, Bob Vance Vance refrigeration <laughs> bears eats Battlestar Galactica there are so many things I want to buy. I don't know what to get. The Threat Level Midnight poster is really important to me. Also, uh, <laughs> the Dwight Pervert picture, but also this one. Right there. Does it look familiar? Because right here's the information about it. Michael Scott was very proud of Pam when he saw the watercolor out at Thunder Mifflin building. After all, it showed his window and his car. He just had to have it for the office. That is so awesome, isn't it? Absolutely blown away with the stuff inside there. I've got to come back and I got to bring a suitcase because I think I'm going to lock. But it's pretty awesome. As I'm sitting in my car, might as well show the second scene, which is this mulberry sign with the no turn on red. This is the second scene in the intro to uh, Jim's video. So he actually recorded this spot right here. And in the corner there, you can see the gigantic Electric City sign. That is a little faded and worn out by now. I gotta go. Ah! Another cool Scranton fun fact. If you've ever seen the movie The Exorcist, uh, Jason Miller, who played uh, Father, I think it was Damien, actually is from Scranton, Pennsylvania, and died at a pub right over in that corner. And they have a memorial of him right here in the courtyard of the courthouse. Courtyard of the courthouse. <laughs> it's definitely hard to top Cooper's, but there is something that might do it. You may have heard about a little place called Poor Richards in the show. I mean, they go there quite a bit for some late night librations. I felt fancy saying that word. And it is actually a place and a bar. And it is located inside the South Side Bowling Lanes. Thanks for the party, Michael. Yeah. Oh, hey. Listen up, Hi. we're going to Poor Richards. Who's in? I'm in. Yes. Michael? Poor Richards? Yeah, that sounds good. Christmas is awesome. Look at this. We got karaoke every Friday and Saturday. I think they're not open yet. Oh, hello. This is such a cool old-timey bar. I love it here. It's definitely not open yet. I mean, it's open, but not for service. I was allowed to come in and just take a look-see here. If you look in the back there, they have photos of like Michael Scott wearing a sweatshirt that says Poor Richards. Sorry, I was hoping to get a beer maybe in there. I'll go to Old Bud Light, but I guess I'll have to come back another night. It's too early in the day. I don't even think they're out to service anybody or anything like that. It is uh, 11 a.m., but I do feel like it's 5 o'clock somewhere, so I don't know. I mean, one hand washes the other, but... Uh, I got more to show you. I got more. If you do get here and Poor Richards is closed like it happened for me, right across the street is Alfredo's Pizza and Restaurant. Now Michael, there is a very big difference between these two pizza places, mm -hmm. both in quality of ingredients and in overall taste. Which one did you order from? <sighs> Pizza by Alfredo. Best square pizza by the Electric City in 2013. Half price martinis Wednesdays and Saturdays. <laughs> it looks really, really good. Um, 
I didn't get the square because I like round pizza, but wow. This actually looks like I'm gonna like this a lot. It's crispy. Look at this. You know it's good. As they say. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta say, if you do end up coming to Scranton for any reason at all, I highly recommend trying Alfredo's. Not only just because of the cool office reference, the pizza was pretty banging. Very saucy. <laughs> You're very, very saucy. Well, that's gonna do it for me for this very cool little tour of the office in Scranton and how they coexisted. Absolutely beautiful place. I'm gonna be up in the Northeast for a little bit longer and I'm gonna do some upcoming vlogs that are gonna be pretty awesome. I plan on hitting up Knoebels Amusement Park, Hershey Park. There's gonna be a lot of fun content coming. And then back to Disney and hopefully beyond. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments so maybe I can start creating more content based off things like this. And uh, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.